guys, the start of a new year has has dawned upon us. January 1st is not a start of a new year. Chinese New Year is not a start of a new year. I don't care what religion, what country, what... Those New Years are not real New Years. The real New Year starts with pickerel season slash walleye season for my American friends. This is when the New Year starts, okay? Then it continues on with uh, rainbow trout, salmon, so on and so forth. For your musky lovers, then that, then that, then that, and, and so on and so forth. So let's get this year going. I'm gonna be out going tomorrow. And I decided to show you my setup. Pretty easy setups. Nothing to it, nothing crazy. Medium fast rod, Power Pro or Braid. Use Braid, eight pound line, 10 pound line actually was what I use. Use a fluorocarbon leader, uh, I use 10 pound. And my stinger hooks are on an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And I'll explain to you a little bit later on in the video. Guys, little instructive video here, mainly for my next generation i got three kids you know one day they're gonna watch these videos and go well my dad used to do that crap when we're dead you know what i mean so and they're all about this youtube crap and uh social media so they'll be watching this one day all right tight lines let's go my main setup this year is uh and a little bit more on the pricier side you don't need to go and get one of these but this is a saint croix triumph seven foot medium fast just a beast of a rod beautiful rod nice color the spine on this thing is just outstanding and it's super super light what's nice about this rod it's got a five-year warranty literally anything happens you send it into saint croix they send you a new one you, all you got to do is literally step on this, break it, ship it to them, and they'll send you another one. No questions asked. St. Croix. It's pricey, boys. Uh, but it's well worth it. And like I said, five-year warranty. I paired this up with my Shimano Noski. Just a beautiful reel. I love this reel. Not too pricey, uh, but super smooth. The drag on it is remarkable. Love, love, love this setup. I don't know why my screen just went black. Next in line, if you want more of a budget friendly yet still outstanding rod, I love these things. I got about four of these Berkeley Lightning Sticks. Spine on it's not too crazy. For jigging though, great rod. So I think this is a seven foot. They come in different sizes, six, six, sevens, all the same. Just get, they're cheap. You can go to Canadian Tire and grab one. I think they're 50 bucks, 55 bucks. So well worth the $55. Great, great jigging rod. Nice and light. Again, spine isn't the greatest. Um, you know, you got to be careful with the bigger fish. And, uh, but great rod. Paired this up with the, the Mach 3 by Luz. The Luz Crush. Uh, good reel. Very good reel. Uh, I think it's about 100 bucks or so. But decent reel. Very good. Next in line. And again, budget friendly. Available at Crappy Tire. My screen went out. Available at Crappy Tire. Vengeance. Love the Abu Garcia Vengeance rod. Nice. It's it's almost as wide as the St. Croix. Not quite. And not quite as light. But for 70 bucks. If I were, you know, if Canadian Tire was just the store I can go to to grab rods, this would be the rod to get. Great, great rod. I've had it for multiple seasons. I paired, this is paired up with the Fluger Presidente XT. Excellent reel, 10 bearing system. Uh, I think it's about 120 for the reel. Again, you don't need to spend too much money. There's decent reels out there. But uh, I, I tend to spend a little bit more money on the reels than the rods, but... The, the baby this year is definitely the St. Croix Triumph. Medium fast. I recommend this damn rod. This rod is outstanding. And Noski, Shimano Noski, great, great reel. All right, let's see the setup. And I got a lot of plastics. These are my go-tos for every year. My go-tos, and then I start branching out from here. Black and gold, buck shiners, 
four inches. I picked them up off a of buck this year. What a good guy. Pimp Daddy, again, the purple and green. I forget the color he calls it, but it's a finesse color, Pimp Daddy. But they're buck shiners. Ex excellent quality. Very good. And he sends them too for you. And I love Bloody Mary. Bloody Marys are awesome. Okay. Last but not Guys, for swivels, I use these things. They say crane swivel on them. Size 7. I like big swivels, especially in the Detroit River with all that current. I don't like those little ones that you're using for uh, float fishing and stuff. Those are too small. Use a bigger swivel. Fire. Keeps your line from uh, twisting and just keeps you nice and vertical. Number 7. Excalibur swivels. For uh, leader line, so I'm using number 10 braid. For leader, I use number 10 fluorocarbon made by Suffix. And then I make my own, um, these are made by me. These are my own, uh, whatchamacallit, stinger hooks. And what I use for that is an eight pound fluorocarbon. Reason being, if you get stuck with the swivel i mean the stinger hook you don't want to break your whole setup and lose your expensive jigs and pla you just want that little thing to so use a little lighter than that so eight pound ten pound fluoro and then your braid should break off easily so pretty much your setup's gonna look like this and i tend to have the hook just at the tail you see that hook just around the tail you don't want it too too flimsy you don't want it too short you want that hook just flopping around so once that pickerel opens its mouth that's easy to go in you don't want it too short where it doesn't do anything all right guys i'm going to show you my way of uh doing a uh uh stinger hook so pretty much take your stinger hook you're gonna cut off about 10 inches of fluorocarbon and you're gonna bend it like so bend it so you can have you know just bend it and then what i do is the bend goes through here through your eye of the stinger oh it's so hard to get this on camera S through the eye of your stinger and then that loop goes around your hook like so pull tight now again you want it about you know from the hook from where it's going to be on the hook down to the tail so about there so you can mark it you can make a little jig and mark it it's going to be about there so all you do after that is you uh you uh tie a knot simple knot pretty easy try to keep that mark around there tie a knot simple knot okay Okay, man, this is harder than it looks on camera. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's your simple, simple knot right here. And then you're going to do another knot, two simple knots. And you want them to align together. Boom, boom. So it turns out to be about three inches, I would say. And then... What you do is, that's a little long this one, but you get the point. What you do is you grab your hook with the plier and pull uh, nice and tight. Clean up the edge, clean up, snip, snip. And pretty much you got a stinger hook here. And this stinger hook is removable. So all you would do is, so here's your hook. You go around the hook, okay? And to make it easier, have this set up before you go out on a couple different jigs, you know. If you're running two, three rods, keep them on separate rods this way. And then you just go through the hook and pull. So now you have your stinger hook. This one's a little bit too long, but I'm just doing it for the camera's purpose. Boom. Bada boom. Simple. And much cheaper than buying. And it's removable. Look, you just pull back and get rid of it. Boom. You know, you got it. You can put on something else. Guys, 